I dreamed of the garden again, though it was more memory than dream. Each small piece picked from 30 years' worth of memories, so that time became jumbled. The great old shed was there for a start. Corrugated concrete walls that are peppered with lichen and moss. I can feel the dust and dirt. Laying here awake in the dark, I can still smell it. A rich, dry smell. Earth and old engine oil and rust. And then there you are, at my side, pulling weeds up from between the cracked concrete. Moving with a practiced ease despite the summers and winters you've seen. I don't see your face, just a hint of you really. A final glimpse conjured from a thousand days of working side by side. The spade drops down into the earth so freely. I can feel my back tighten with the strain. The muscles in my arms pulling as I turn the soil. Everything feels so normal, so real that I can barely stand it. There's too much memory here. It overwhelms me, almost drowns me, and secretly I'm tempted to let it. I could live here, couldn't I? There's always work that needs doing. The year runs into the next and everything begins again. There's nothing beyond the boundary of the garden, I know that. It stands alone. Even the house seems intangible, as if it's been painted in the background. But it would be a good life. shadows grow, cooling the air. I have to leave you soon. You don't speak. There are no answers to be had, no messages from beyond the veil. We never talked about what lay in wait after, but I remember you as a practical person, and I'm much the same. I dreamed of the garden again. In my waking hours, I tried to hold on to it, to let a part of me stay there, but it's never going to be quite the same. But one day, maybe. <laughs>